Good evening from Mission Control Houston and welcome back to tonight's continuing coverage of the landing of the Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft and its crew of three Expedition 35 astronauts. As of right now, the crew has moved into their Soyuz craft, having uh, shut the hatches between the craft and the International Space Station successfully back at about 2.50 p.m. Central Time. The three are suited up in their Sokol launch and entry suits and inside of the descent module. Uh, and the right, as of right now, they are moving towards the next major milestone for tonight's activities, the scheduled undocking from the International Space Station. They accomplished a series of leak checks between uh, on either side. Uh, before entering the craft, they were able to say a final farewell to the three uh, astronauts and cosmonauts that will remain on board the International Space Station. Uh, here you can see them beginning to uh, egress into their docked Soyuz vehicle. Uh, all of the crew currently inside of the Rosviet module right here. You can see NASA astronaut Dr. Tom Marshford now moving in. Um, the man he's moving past uh, in the striped shirt there is uh, Pavel Vinogradov, a Russian cosmonaut who is remaining on board and will continue uh, his stint as commander of Expedition 36, having taken over command of the International Space Station yesterday from departing commander, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield. Now giving a final goodbye there and climbing in, you can see Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko. He will be in the center seat uh, of the descent module throughout the flight this evening, uh, in charge of all the Soyuz systems uh, throughout the flight. Uh, he is the uh, TMA-07M commander. There you can see the hatch being closed between the two, that the hatch uh, on the Soyuz craft. The crew arriving in that craft after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome back in December. Approximately. In a minute, I will select depot. Okay, separation confirmed. Timer is on. And separation confirmed at 6.08 p.m. Central Time while the station and Soyuz craft fly about 257 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Well, do that. Backing away at a rate of just a little over one tenth of a meter per second. Air Roman team. Roman team. Air seven. Okay. Step up. The one confirmed. Send in S seven. Air seven. Commander PSS, how do you hear? I'll copy. Look at interesting. There we are getting live views now uh, from the search and recovery forces of that Soyuz craft as it makes its final descent. Everything is phenomenal. You can see it there under the main parachute uh, heading down towards its touchdown just about 10 minutes from now. So. So while we're getting communications from the crew, you also hear uh, the Try. intermittent beeping we're sound. Good. It's a a beacon that is emanating from the Soyuz craft that search and recovery forces yeah, can use to pinpoint the exact touchdown uh, location of the Soyuz vehicle. These helicopters carried uh, many of the essential personnel uh, to the landing zone, including flight surgeons, uh, as well as uh, landing site personnel in charge of uh, safing the vehicle and extracting the crew and also ex uh, erecting the medical tent. At this point, the Soyuz spacecraft was descending at a rate of just about 7.2 meters per second. And once there, you can see the soft landing rockets fire on just about two seconds before landing, uh, slowing it to a final descent rate of just 0.8 meters while right above the ground. Now we're standing by uh, as uh, the Russian uh, recovery forces in concert with uh, personnel from uh, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency move in uh, to begin extracting the crew from the Soyuz craft, uh, landing almost on the dot there uh, just to the uh, southeast of Jezkazgan. Okay, let's get ready for the hatch opening. Okay, I'm standing. I'm ready. Attention. Careful. 
Yes, yes, sir. Hello. Welcome back. Our first look at the returned crew. Roman Romanenko there in the center seat. Chris Hadfield to his left and Tom Marshburn to the right. The astronauts will be carried over to these seats where they can relax for a moment as they're all extracted uh, before eventually being moved over to the uh, medical tent erected about 100 meters away uh, from the uh, landing zone. Inside that medical tent, the crew will get their initial uh, medical exam. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted from the Soyuz craft. All three crew members now safely out. We'll see it once again. Oxygen 90. Thumbs up from Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield returning from his command of the International Space Station. Chris was the first Canadian commander of a spacecraft, uh, wrapping up a historic 144 days on board the station. Uh, Roman Romanenko heading to Star City, Russia, Hadfield and Marshburn heading back to Houston. Um, but for now, uh, the crew members uh, out of the Soyuz craft, which landed successfully at 9.31 p.m. Central Time. 